Hello, and in today's video we're going to cover a subject which came up in the forums recently, which is if we're creating a time lapse, how to align the photos after you've taken them. One of the great things about automated solutions like DroneLink is that it allows us to take basically the same photos over and over again, but unfortunately it's not 100% accurate. GPS can be off by about 16 feet. Sometimes the photos don't align, they're not, they're not perfectly lined up. So once we've taken all the photos, we will need to go through a process to align them. Now I used to do this in DaVinci Resolve by carefully nudging photos and, and you can do that and, I, and sometimes you will still need to do that. But I found a solution that gets us uh, a lot closer, a lot faster, um, at least in some of the photos. So how do we do that? Here we are, I'm in Lightroom. Lightroom's a, a great solution and I've selected a bunch of photos that we're going to try to align. So I've got 10 photos here and I'm going to go step by step. So step one is we highlight everything and I do Command A or Control A to select all. Once I've selected all the photos that I need, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right click on a photo. I'm going to come down and I'm going to say edit in and I'm going to say open as layers in Photoshop. And what you'll see is each of these photos will now come in as a layer. And if you're looking over here on the layers panel, you'll see it adding these photos in one by one. And then once they've all been added, I'm going to show you that they don't exactly line up exactly as we would like and how we can fix that. So once they're all loaded, if I turn this layer on and off, you can see that the, the image jumps around a little bit. And it's particularly visible with things like you see this, this little fire hydrant here. If you keep your eye on that and we turn this on and off, you'll see that it jumps to the left. So we're going to use a trick to auto align these photos. And the way we do that is we come over to the layers panel, we shift and click to select everything, and then we go edit, auto align layers. And you get this option here and it gives us a bunch of things, auto perspective. Um, I, honestly, I've tried a bunch of them and some of them do really weird things, but for the most part, we're just going to leave it on auto and I'm going to hit OK. And what you're going to see is it will then try to line up these layers as best it can. Now, how good a job it does of this is going to depend in part on how much similarity there is between these photos. So you'll see some of them work really, really well and some of them don't work quite as well. So let's take a look. What about the first one here? Uh, let's have a look. We can see there's actually quite a large jump between these two. But if we turn this one off and then start looking at the others, these ones all seem to be lining up pretty well. So it's done a good job on a lot of it. What do you do on the ones that didn't line up? And this is where our usual technique comes into play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this layer. I'm going to change the opacity down to about 50% so that we can see where things line up and where they don't. And you can see there's quite a big difference here. So I'm going to come over to our little move tool. I'm going to click on this layer. And I'm going to drag it around so that it lines up as best we can. And I'm going to use that fire hydrant there as a point and these buildings over on the right. And we'll get it pretty close. We won't get it 100%, but we'll get it pretty close. And you can actually use the arrow keys to nudge things around a bit. So this may or may not be as good as it's going to get, but let's leave it at that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything again. I'm going to go up to the crop tool. Actually, I'm just going to hit C to get the crop tool up. And I want it to stay at the original ratio. And I'm just going to crop this in because what you can see is that it's actually moved things around so much that some of these photos are just they're just out of frame in some areas so we're going to we're going to call it something like that hit return i'm going to go back to this layer i'm going to change the opacity back to 100 percent so now we've got this um, it's mostly lined up um, you can see this as we as we um, it obviously does a better job once the building is in place the layers line up okay so now we've got 10 different layers and we're going to export those now so i'm going to go up to file export and you can say layers to files so we're going to select that uh, i'm going to put a prefix in it that we're going to call i don't know uh, aligned underscore we're going to browse to a folder right so this is my photo align folder but i'm just going to say new folder i'm going to go output create and i'm going to say run and what it will do now is it's going to output these. I did select JPEG as the as the format to output. I do still see that we've got some, some gaps around the edges here, and we'll take care of that 
um, in the end. So now let's go over to our finder and I'm going to look in my output folder. And here you can see we've got a bunch of files that have all been output. And these are basically ready to be imported into whatever editing software you've got. Now, it doesn't work in all cases. There are still going to be times when layers will need to be adjusted manually in your in your video editor. But this at least gets you a really good start and it's going to save you a ton of time once the editing starts. Anyway, that's it for another video. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comments or suggestions on improvements that you think we can make. And I'll see you in the next video.